So what are we doing today, Mads? Well, I'm just getting my clothes out. I let me see what I look like. I look like a caveman. I look great. Um, yeah, I just got these clothes out. That if you've watched my videos, my recent video, I did a declutter and I put them in a pile, and now I've got them out because I was like, oh, I'm sh I haven't worn them. The point is, when you're decluttering, you put away the clothes that you're not sure about if you don't want to let go of them yet. You leave them there, set yourself a time limit, and if you haven't reached for them, then you get rid of them. But then the problem is, you get them out and then you're like, oh, I really what like your, them. What was your time limit? Before New Year, it was at least a couple months. But is then it? I'm yeah. Oh. Well, not a couple like, months, it's like, it like a month. I just got them out, like this one, I just think it's so pretty because of the sleeves. And then this one, the reason I've put it away is because I haven't worn, the, all these things basically I just haven't worn recently, that's why I've put them in the pile. The, like, the, the collar got kind of discoloured because it's been washed because it's black and white and it always gets hair on it, like look, it's got cat hair on it even though I don't have cats <laughs> anymore. And I have washed it since I've been home. Can't remember the last time you wore it, no. That's what I mean. And it is really nice, but no, I'm just gonna go for it. Bye bye. And then this skirt, what do you think of this skirt? Like, I love this skirt. I think these skirts are so cute, but I just ha don't wear it. Like, I just don't ever want to wear these things. So no, get rid of it. Why not? Because I'm just not, I would rather wear a dress. I find skirts uncomfortable. These are just like not nice. Well, you've got new ones, haven't you? I've got new ones. And they're too tight, you well, said. They're just uncomfortable. They're not. They're not long enough, basically. Yeah, so they can't they're not just... very stretchy. No. And then this is the only thing I think I might keep. Because the reason I got rid of this is because it's not the most flattering, but then... I thought you wore that. I thought I wore that too. So I think I should well, keep... it looks weird on the camera, the lines. I think I should <laughs> keep this, because I don't know why I put this in the thing. Okay. And then this, I'm not sure. What do you think about this one? <laughs> Vote down below if you think I should get rid of this dress. Although, okay. no, there's no point in doing that because every single one of you is going to say, keep it, keep it. Because every time I do a minimalism video and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should get rid of anything, everyone in the comments is like, oh, I love that. You should definitely keep it. <laughs> I don't remember the last time you uh, wore that. Yeah. It's also, like, not comfortable. It's more, like, smarter than comfortable, isn't it? Yeah, and, like, even when I wear, when I do smart, like, I don't know. It seems useful because it's a plain, pretty black dress. I think I'm going to hold on to these two and give myself another month to wear them. Smart? Smart. Smart. Well, that's a productive way to start the day, isn't it? Yeah. I better make some breakfast then. has to take over the cooking. Whoa, huh? thank you. I think you're ready now too, aren't you? Smiley face. 
Oh no! What's this? Is this a beard? This is fluff, yeah. That's so cute. Thank you, Alex. Ooh. Did you just copy that font onto your paper? Yeah. Well, no, I made it up myself, but oh, I was looking cool. for ideas. I'm filling in my bullet journal. I got this beautiful thing inspired by Blue Alice. On YouTube, we do it for like for life. She's great. And um, my life is about to change. I'm about to become the most organized person. And it's so up my street, isn't it, Alex? Yep. Like, this is literally everything that I love, like being organized. Yeah, you spent like three hours last night just... Yeah, I like wrote out writing this, the, the date. This calendar. Yeah, and the idea of it, if you have no idea what a bullet journal is, the idea of it is that most journals are kind of restrictive. So they're kind of have a pre-layout, whereas this you fill out how you want. So, for example, I'm filling in my morning routine because it's the new year and we, you know, just come back home. I really want to have like a night, there's some things I want to start doing in the morning and make them a habit. Sorry, was I talking into the air? I do that. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that there's a camera there. But um, yeah, there's like things that I want to do each morning, like meditate. I want to do yoga and go to the gym before like I start work and not go on my phone. So I want to write this down so that it's like, writing it down makes it like more mm. instilled in you and it, makes you think of things. And yesterday, like last night, I spent hours, didn't I, writing down yeah. my goals. And I did type them up on my computer, which is probably a good thing to do first, but writing it down with pen and paper and having like a limited space, like a double page spread, I had to like really think about what goals I wanted to achieve and the specifics of them and why. And it really helped me kind of go through things in my brain. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the best way to write your goals and like make them happen. So I'm very excited and this is like the complicated bit because you have to set it all up. But then once you set it up, it's easy because then you just fill it in each day with your to-do lists and stuff. So, yes, I think these last, depending on how much you fill in, I think they can last like two years because they're quite a lot. Oh yeah, it's quite thick. So I think this will last me two, probably two, 2000 and... Your writing's super tiny. Well, it has to be because of the... I know, but it My helps. writing is tiny anyway. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm going to fill in my morning routine. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to put on this side. Maybe like um, places I want to visit. And then I'm going to start off my actual yeah. calendar. Like I'm going to have like a January page. You're going to make a video about it? Uh, probably in the future when I've got used to it. I okay. think once I've set it all up and I might like show my monthly setup or something. Mm. I also want to fill in a grateful, have a gratefulness journal each month. So have like each day and I write down two things or three things that I'm grateful for and fill that out. So that's every month and I can do that before. Because the idea of it, like before I had so many other books, just I had this book, which was like my workbook that I had and to-do lists. And then I had uh, like my master to-do list. And then I had a notepad, this, where is it? You know, the one that you rip off. So it's your to-do oh, list yeah. each day. And then I rip that off and you just throw it within. And then um, I also had a gratefulness journal and it's just too many things in too many different places. So it's nice to have it all in one place. Mm. And it's very creative. I love writing pretty things. And I love making things look nice. So it reminds me of my sketchbook days. I used to do art. So I've talked for a hundred years, so. Fine by me. <laughs> I'm gonna do my to-do list. <clears throat> it's a much cooler journal, as you can see. <laughs> That's your bullet journal. <laughs> have you suddenly gained a bit of weight, Alex? Mm-hmm. What's this? Is this your baby? I'm nesting. Is it your baby? Yeah. Let me see. I'm gonna hatch him any time now. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Alec. What? Nothing. It's funny. It's, cold. <laughs> it's very cold. Cold on this chair. That's why I sit on this chair. You made me sit here at the desk today. I didn't make you. I just suggested it. You forced that... me. <laughs> suggested it. You said, Alex, sit at the desk or I'm gonna break up with you. Yeah. It's lunchtime. We are having leftovers we've been spoiled the past few days maddie's been cooking for uh some of her videos so we just have leftovers every day which saves so much time this is just the uh which one is it easy tomato pasta from her recipes under one pound per serving video and i think we calculated it and this serving is 27p which is pretty crazy when you think about it Do -do -do. hello I said earlier that it was great. I look, I look like a hospital patient. I look ill or either a hospital patient or a granddad. That's a granddad dressing gown. I look ill. I look like I'm ill. I'm not ill. It's also the light that's right on your face. <laughs> oh, 
God, it won't go away. Let's go in the there other room. There we go. No, okay, that's good. I was saying how good it was that we had all this leftover food because you've been cooking, and then we just went in the fridge and realised <laughs> there's like we barely, eaten it all. barely enough. For I dinner. don't know how that happened. I cooked five recipes on Saturday and Sunday, and it's Monday and all of it's gone. I suppose that's five. Re but each wait, let me figure this out. Five recipes. Two of them were serving four. I'm sure it works out. I don't know. I guess we've both eaten lunch and dinner well, we, we of them. Got, yeah, we've got four. It did count us for lunch and dinner for like three nights. So it's not bad. Yeah. For three days. But I had it in oh, my sorry. brain. I was like, oh, we've throat. got all the food for the rest of the week ready. No. Well, it's the start of the week now, isn't it? Yeah. It's Monday. So um, I'm going to have the leftover of the chilli. If you haven't watched the video, Alex will link it. I'm going to have the leftover of the chilli. I, I think Alex that. is going to have burgers or I pasta. Will, I will have already linked it. Oh, I'm or um, this. <laughs> that's not dinner. Are you going to have pasta or are you going to have the burgers and then pasta for lunch tomorrow? How many calories is it? Why does it matter? It's Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's is not something you count calories for. If you I, just eat I ate it. the whole thing. Yes. That's actually not very many calories. No, it's because it's vegan. No, but the, I thought it was made of nuts. It doesn't matter. Any vegan ice cream is so low in calories. Okay. That's... How much is it? Five times 171 is... I have no idea. 155? Oh gosh, that's for the whole tub. That's quite a lot still. There's something in my throat. <laughs> drink some water. There's less than a thousand for a pint of ice cream. Uh, Go drink some water. You're not allowed to carry on talking to you. Drink some water. I was biting my nail and it went down my throat. But don't bite your nails, kids. Oh. So... Can I just have this and then you'll figure yours out? Yeah. Why don't you just have some rice and a burger and some salad and then have pasta salad. tomorrow? Unless you want to have pasta. Well, I had pasta for lunch, so. Yeah, have, the, have two burgers and some rice and some salad. There's like rocket and tomatoes in it and Ooh. cucumber. Actually, that sounds pretty great. Yeah. Okay. It is decided. <laughs> do I look ill when I do it? I want it now. I, you've said you're having that. I want that ah. as well. And have this for lunch tomorrow. Should we just have that together and I'll have that for lunch tomorrow? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Tea break time. I know you asked for move free, but. Oh, there's none left. They're the best ones. You gotta pick. I don't know what it is though. The little move free thingies, I had two of them. There's like an organic, they're like organic chocolate, vegan chocolate. Yeah. But there was two of them that were like a sand, two like Santas, or one was a snowman, one was a Santa. Yeah. And the chocolate tasted. So good, like better than this. I swear it tasted different. Uh, like it, I had one last night and I actually had to check the packaging because I thought it was real chocolate. chocolate. It tasted like dairy milk. I'll have you. Like I was freaked out for a second. It was the snowman one. Maybe it's a special Christmas formula. Oh. Maybe not. I saw some Christmas ones in the shops. Can't really justify buying any more chocolate when all no. the Christmas hit though. Moo free is the special pricey stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna have to have it. Well, I'll take your pick. Oh no, there's some little white chocolate snowmen. Is that them? Plamil. <laughs> what? Plamil. <laughs> so you want them? I think so. Shall I put this back? Mm. In case we just, you know, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? My hand, like, reaching for I'm just gonna fill the hot water bottle up. What time is it? Was it about seven? It's about seven, isn't it? Yeah, we're having a hot water bottle. At 7 p.m. on a weekday, because we're old people deep down. Turns out these weren't good enough. <laughs> they mint flavour. I don't yep. want mint flavour. It means more so here for we you. Are. Huh? More for you. Maybe. You're just going to eat more of that now, though. No, I'm going to have a line of it. Oh, just a cheeky. This way? Just a cheeky line. This line. <laughs> this line. No. Does it even go that way? What do you mean? Down the other way. Yeah. Oh. What do you mean? Why wouldn't it? What? what? What do you mean it does it go that way? <laughs> it's cubes. I don't know. <laughs> what does it do then? I said I don't know. I'm not thinking. <sighs> Stop filming me. My guilty chocolate eating. I look horrific. I'm going to watch this vlog back and be like, oh my god. My favourite part is... Uh, Let me see. This, this Let me little see. fluff. Let me little see. fluffy. Let me see. Oh my god, Alex. <laughs> Nicole, name the kiss. We just finished watching four episodes of The Sinner. 
Yeah, it was four. It was like three hours. Very good show. Highly recommended. Although a bit gory at the start. You've got to kind of shut your eyes at that point. I forgot I promised to show you my my special no. Christmas present very quickly. It's unplugged. It's unplugged. Take two. Whoa. Look how bright that is. A bit too bright. Maddie got the uh, wrong bulb by accident. She didn't realise it would be so bright. So I've ordered a new one. Good night.